Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be showing you how to make an awesome Fortnite thumbnail on Pixlr for absolutely free. So let's get into it. Alright, so what you're going to do first is you're going to click create a new image, and then you're going to go to presets, and then and then uh, scroll down to movie 720p. Now, we're going to do this because this is the recommended size for YouTube thumbnails. Now, we're going to go to name, and then change it to thumbnail tutorial. Thumbnail tutorial. So, we're going to keep this unchecked, and then you're going to click OK, and this should pop up on your screen. So we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna search up Fortnite. Oops. Fortnite. Oh my god, I keep spelling it wrong. Fortnite background. And then you're gonna go to images. And then uh, I recommend you do this so it scales well with the 720p image you already have. And you're gonna go to tools and then size. And then you're gonna go to exactly. And then you're gonna do 1280 by 720. And then you can click go. And I'm gonna search for one of these. I'd recommend something like this. So I'm just gonna um, right click it and then do copy image address. And I'm gonna go to layer, open image URLs layer, and then backspace it and then do control V so you can paste the URL in there. And then click enter and then this should um, pop up. So once you do that, um, you're going to look for uh, Fortnite outfits. And how you're going to do this is I'll leave the link to this website in the description. But you're going to go to fnbr.co. And uh, you're going to scroll down here. And you're going to look for um, the, you're going to look for uh, an outfit, a skin. Now you got to scroll pretty far down. Like I think it's, yeah, it's right there. So. We're gonna look for it right here, and you can basically do anything you want. And this is basically every single skin that's came out in Fortnite, so you can do anything you want here. So I'm just gonna do the. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'll do the Leviathan. So you can do uh that and then you could do copy image address and then you could go to layer and then do the same thing and then paste the um, the thing in there and click enter and then you have them in here now you're gonna go to edit and then free transform and then make sure you hold shift when you're doing this and if you don't it's gonna go out like this so make sure it's you hold shift like and then you rescale it so then it's gonna be like that but I accidentally stretched it so let me undo that uh, and by the way, it is Control Z to undo things, or you could just go like this and then click no. So I'm just gonna reskill it. So I'm just gonna put it right here, and I'm just gonna make it a little bigger, so it fits like right here. Or you could put them right here. Yeah, that fits a lot better. All right. So once you do that. Um, you're gonna put text right here. You could do, you could type in anything you want, but for mine, I'm gonna type in thumbnail tutorial. Um, I recommend it be in uh, all capitals so it looks better. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a link to uh, both of these fonts in the description, which go really well together, which are Supersonic Graphics Chip and the Fortnite font. So this one actually looks really good with the Fortnite font. So we're going to change it to white, and we're going to change it to 150. And actually, we're going to backspace this, so I forgot to do that. So we're going to backspace that, and then we're going to do that. We're going to move the word over here. And yeah, so we're going to do the second one over here. And then uh, we're going to change that to the um, Fortnite font. So bear bank, big, condensed. I'll leave a link to these in the description below. So. And then you're gonna type in uh, whatever. If you if you have one word, um, you can do that. But if you have two words for your main text, you can do it like this. And then you can change the size to 185. That's what I would recommend for this one. 
So then once you have it like this, this looks pretty good so far. So next what you're gonna do is now we're gonna start adding the decoration. Now that we've added our main image, now it's time to decorate it. So first of all, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go on Google and then search up rainbow background and then go to images and then look for something just like this all right so the same thing copy image open image url control v and then yeah so we're gonna make sure this layer is underneath everything except for the layer one so we're gonna make sure that that's on top of that one it has to be below everything except for that one so it's right here so it's above that one but it's below everything else so then we can uh, free transform it. Make sure to hold shift and then make and then do it up just like that. So once you do that, you can uh, apply the changes and then you can uh, right click it and actually not right click it. You can click this button, toggle layer settings and then go to mode and then click, uh, click it. And then I'd recommend hard light because hard light looks really good. And then you could turn the opacity down just like that. And it basically makes the background look a lot cooler. You could change the you could change the opacity to make it even lower. I like it around here. So once you do that, um, so once you do that, you can add a drop shadow to um, the thumbnail and the tutorial words or whatever words you're using. So outer glow, and then you can change it to black. Click OK, and then go to size, make it a little bit bigger, like around 25. And then uh, after that, just to make it even look, e make it look even better, you can go to select pixels. Uh, oops. Uh, make sure you select pixels. And then, oops. Oh yeah, that's why. So you're gonna click rasterize layer, and then uh, select pixels. And then gonna go to gradient tool, and then it's gonna be at this white and black for now. You wanna change the black to a uh, gray, like a light gray right here. And then you're gonna swipe it up like this. Oh, oops, wrong way. And then you're gonna do it like that. And this is actually a gradient that a lot of YouTubers use. Um, so it's Control D to deselect it, and then it should look like this when you're done. So then you're gonna do the same thing with the tutorial. We're gonna right click it, and then go to Rasterize Layer, and then uh, Edit, Select Pixels, and then go to Gradient Tool, and then oh yeah, we have it. I have the drop shadow. We'll do that later. So then we're going to do the red and yellow one, this is one a lot of YouTubers use, so we're going to do it a light red, and then a light yellow. And then you can do it up like that, just like that. Uh, maybe like, scale it down to the middle right there, and you can put control D to deselect it, and then just add a quick outer glow, and then make it black, like the size around 25. And then bam, so far so good. So now we're gonna add a, a drop shadow to the Leviathan too. So we're gonna go to Outer Glow and then add white and then make it a little bit bigger. And then I make the hardness to like four or five. And then we're gonna make it a little bit smaller, just like maybe around a 15. 15 to 20 would be good. So I'm just gonna do 17. So once you've done that, the final thing you're going to do is enhance it a little bit, and then you're done. So you're going to go to Anime Zoom P PNG, and then you're going to do this one. And I like this one a lot. So you're going to do the same thing, and then add it in there. Uh, so then once you add it in there, you're going to scale it down like right here. You're going to put it all the way down. Make sure it's just like the rainbow layer. Make sure it's below everything except and then it, but except it's on top of this one. So make sure it's below everything else but on top of the background. So once you do that, you want to go to the wand tool, and then you're gonna do this, and then you want to click backspace, and then basically delete the white that was on it. So now what it's gonna do is uh, actually you can actually put it above the rainbow layer so it doesn't look rainbow itself. So then you could do the one tool and then select all of it. Or to make it easier, you could just go to edit and select pixels and select all of them. Go to the paintbrush, 
go set main color do it to white and um, dump it on everything or you could just uncheck contiguous and then it'll con and then it'll um, do it on every single one so you just gotta do it on a couple and they'll do it on the, a lot of them so once you do that you can actually move it up now I'd recommend moving it on top of it but make sure it's underneath the text or you could do it on top of the text if you want so then after this we're gonna um, control D to deselect it then you can go to edit free transform oops no not that uh, free transform and then make it bigger so these lines appear smaller and then it should go like somewhere like right here just like that and you're done so hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, video so once you're done with this you're gonna go to file and then save and then you want to change it to PNG because it'll um, do it a full quality click OK and then basically just do that and it's saved so so yeah alright so just really quickly I'm gonna make another thumbnail really quickly it's gonna be fast forwarded so uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video Hey guys thanks for making it to the end of my video hopefully you guys liked it hopefully you guys found it informative if you guys did be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel it would help my channel a lot if you did find it informative be sure to leave a comment and say that you did also be sure to like and subscribe if you liked it and i will see you guys later peace out